Okay, today's date is 1-24-16. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just a quick review. I like to put a little design on my number. Alright, review from yesterday. So if I have 5m plus 3x plus negative 4m plus 2x. Okay? So a little review from yesterday. So we're going to use CST, right? So circle the first one. So that means what else should I circle? The plus negative 4m. Right? So 5m plus negative 4m is equal to 1m. Now, do I really need to write the 1? I can just write m. Because remember, when you just see a variable without a number, there's an invisible 1. So if your actual answer is 1m, you can technically not write the 1 and just leave it as m. I know. It's crazy. Okay, we're going to square, square, so my, in my squares is 3x plus 2x. What's 3x plus 2x? 5x. So what's your final, final answer? Good. Now, do you want to know the algebra way of writing this? The, like the correct grammar? It has to be in alphabetical order, right? So is it in alphabetical order? Yeah. So this would be considered proper way of writing your answer. So, for example, uh, if your an if let's say your final answer was three three w plus two a plus five m plus three b, right? That's like your final answer. But what would you write down first? No. 2A plus 3B plus... That would be the correct way of writing your answer, is in alphabetical order, okay? I'm okay if you don't, but try to, like, today, try to write them in alphabetical order. Just try to see if you can. Now, you know how sometimes we deal with numbers that don't even have variables? That goes all the way at the end. Okay, so it goes in alphabetical order and then uh, terms that don't have variables on it. Got it? All right, now let's do some viewer stuff. <laughs> let's use KCC. What does KCC stand for? Very good. Nathan, keep change, change before CST. So before we circle sort triangle, we're going to do some CST. Focus, let's write this down. All right, for example, if I have 2x minus 10m minus uh, no, let's do plus 3x minus 4m. Write it down. Make sure you write it nice and neat. Give yourself enough room. All right. Remember, we don't. All right. So we're going to do a keep change change. Before we do CST, keep, change, change. So how would I rewrite that? 2x plus, good. Now, am I okay with the plus 3x? Yeah. But do I like the minus 4m? No. So here I would do another keep, change, change. So what would I continue writing? 
plus 3x plus 4. What are you going to do instead? All right, now, now they're all addition signs, right? Now we're doing, now we're CST. So circle your X's. Two X plus three X. What's two X plus three X? Five X. Cool. Now I'm going to square my M. All right, so here we go. Negative 10m plus negative 4m. What's negative 10m plus negative 4m? Huh? Good. Negative 14m. So what's my what's my final answer in alphabetical order? Yes. You guys see it? All right. Let's try one more. Negative eight x. Minus four y minus three x plus two y. What's the first thing you should do? Okay, so keep, change, change. So negative 8x plus negative 4y. Now, you see this one? We're going to do another keep, change, change. So we're going to keep this one the same, which is now a negative 4y. We're changing the subtraction to addition. What's the opposite of 3x? Negative 3x. Now, do I have to change this? No, why not? It's a plus sign, right? We, it's already an addition. We like addition. So we keep it. All right. Now we're going to do CST, circle, square, triangle. Go ahead and do circle, square, triangle. So those are the two math problems you have to solve, Juan. Did you solve these two? What'd you get? Say it one more time, nice and loud. Okay, two y is good, but what about the x's? What what should they be? Negative. So negative eleven x. Which answer comes first? Alphabetical order. So negative 11x plus 2y. We weren't finished. Supposed to be negative. Why is it supposed to be negative? 
more more negative wise. Right. Just try to see if you're paying attention. Good job, Nathan. Good job, Jose. Mm hmm The negative. You see how I left room to add that negative? Looks very natural. Does not look like I added it at the end. Alright. Alright, try this one. Negative 4m minus 2x minus a negative 2m minus x. Minus a negative 2m. You know, David asked me, can I just rewrite it here? And there's a part of me that says, yeah, here's how you do it. Keep, change, change, right? So keep, then this changes to what? Plus, and this changes to a what? Negative. Then I do another keep, change, change. So this changes to a what? Plus sign. And this changes to a what? A positive. Then I do another keep, change, change. Woo! So this one changes to a what? Plus. And this one changes to a... Do you have an answer, answer? Keon, what would you get? Nice. Good job. Here we go. This and this. So I'm going to write it down for those of you who didn't get it. Plus 2m gives you negative 2m. And then this and this. So you have a negative 2x plus a negative x. And what's invisible right there that you don't see? A 1. So that means it's negative 1x, right? So that gives you negative 3x. Final answer would be negative 2m plus negative 3x. Yeah, we're good. Do you want a challenge problem? Yeah. Okay, this is the one I gave my first period. Yeah, it's actually not that hard. I gave you a couple ones that would build your uh, knowledge up, so you should be okay with this one. All right, volunteer to give me their answer, Jose. No. Nathan? Good job. 11M plus 3Y. All right, very good. Good job.